100 cases in this stop today, so we're gonna crush this. We're about to get ready to get up out of here shortly, man. Y'all keep it locked. I love these right here. These root beers right here, I love them. If you got a Miller's Ale House in your city, I used to always get these when I go to Miller's Ale House. These are some of the best root beers out there. Barks is cool. I love Barks, but these IBC root beers, good man. to the hotel you guys can kind of see that I'm in a parking lot so we made it normally uh, performance food group is part right here but the normal driver he either is running behind the day or he's probably on vacation and somebody else running the route because typically that guy's here very early in the morning according to the ladies at the front desk I think they say they he normally gets here around six or seven o'clock in the morning. So, um, and I know he's gone before before me. So, you know that would make sense that he get here really early. But anyway, I took his spot today. If he's not here, I'm parking right here. For the simple fact that this building next to me has a camera on the side of the building, so I like getting um, on this side whenever I had opportunity. You guys know if you've been following the channel, man, I got my tractor back last week. It was gone for about a month, and I gotta get some cleaning done in here, man. Much like my house, I don't have company at my house if my house not clean. So, you know, I'm not gonna show you guys what the truck looks like right now because, you know, it's not cleaned up. But yeah, anyway, um, let's go ahead and get to it, man. All right, so first and foremost, man, Hopefully I can knock most of this out before this reefer unit comes back on and drown out my voice. But yeah, man, you guys see it. This is what we parked at right now. But let me go ahead and start with some of the driver positions, right? And this wind blowing kind of hard. But let's start with the driver positions at GFS. I'll talk about them briefly. So first, let's just start with the van driver. So here at GFS, we have van delivery driver positions. Um, we have shuttle driver positions, of course. Shuttle drivers, typically what they do, if you don't know what a shuttle driver is, you're pretty much gonna be pulling doubles in most cases. 
if you're pulling a longer trailer like a 50 for example um, then you'll just be pulling a 50 foot trailer but what they do is basically leave the yard with an empty trailer and then they'll meet another shuttle driver or transit driver is what we call it they'll meet up with him at a different location and they'll basically just swap trailers so our driver that's taking down an empty he'll bring back a loaded trailer i have no idea what those guys get paid but um it's i mean it's an easy job it's just dropping hook you know what i'm saying uh what else you got the cell service driver position those are our local delivery drivers so these guys are home every night um we got different size trailers depending on route sizes at my yard in particular i work out of a drop yard so we primarily have 28 foot trailers pup trailers that's what we have i'm in the only 50 foot trailer i'm the only uh regional delivery driver running out of my location but other locations if you're a local driver there's no telling what size trailer you're gonna be in but um a lot of locations do have 28 foot trailers um, I know, you know, I've seen guys in the Texas area running in like 36 footers and things of that nature. So it just depends on the location, where you are, and again, route size and things like that. The majority of the trailers that you will see at GFS will be um, or will have a ramp on it like this 50 foot trailer does show you real quick right there but um, I have seen trailers with lift gates for example I seen a driver running out of Miami Florida with a lift gate so there are some GFS trailers out there with lift gates but you know you don't see many of them at least I don't so yeah that's pretty much the um the sales service drivers those are the local guys that are home every night now i am a regional delivery driver also known as a chain account driver i have two layovers a week so if you apply for a regional delivery driver you can count on being out for at least two nights a week you'll have layovers and those days may vary depending on location but that's what regional delivery drivers consist of um, we have a two-day route the thing that i like about chain account or regional delivery drivers is number one you have two days to complete the route so for example if i leave the yard with 1100 cases I have two days to get those cases off the trailer, essentially. Now me, I have six stops on my route. That's it, six stops total. How I run my route, I'll do three stops one day. And then on day two, after my reset, I'll get up and then finish my route, right? Um, finish up the other three stops. So that's how I run my route, um, you know, there's a reason why I run my route like that. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but I have a customer where they don't want the 50 foot trailer in the parking lot during business hours, just because, you know, it's a small parking lot and it causes issues with the drive through, right? So that's the reason for that. If that wasn't the case, I probably can get my route done um, the same day as far as getting the product delivered i may run out of drive time getting back to the yard though so i may um it's possible that i still would have to get a hotel just because i may run out of hours going back to the yard but other than that it's a good possibility that i can get the stops done in in one day that's pretty much how it works on chain delivery driver so as many stops as you can get done on day one that's just fewer stops that you have to worry about on, on day two. If you can get all your stops done in one day, great. 
you know what I'm saying? You can go home. But when you run a chain, nine times out of 10, that's not gonna happen. I'm not saying it can't happen or it doesn't happen in some cases because I have heard. Um, I was working with a chain driver one time and he told me that uh, he was able to get his whole route done in one day, sometimes. So, you know, it is a possibility, but you know, a lot of us probably, you know, you're probably running a lot of miles, so it may be hard to do that. You know, running chain accounts, you're overnight. And me personally, I have all key drops. So what that means is I just go into the customer, make my deliveries and I'm out. The customer doesn't have to be there at all. I'm in and out. Drop the product and go on to the next stop. So that's, you know, that's the nice thing about, about chain. Now, you know, you have some accounts like that on the sales service size too for uh, the local guys. You know, they have accounts like that as well. But um, as a chain delivery driver, most of your stops will be that way, will be key drops. You know what I mean? So um, a lot of customers you may not even see. Like me, I, I rarely see my customers. The only customer I see is really like one um, on my first day. On my second day, I don't see none because you know I'm overnight for them. Um, I only see one customer on my route for the most part. And usually, you know, when they're coming in, I'm finishing up, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how that works, but it's nice, man. Um, in addition to that, I'm at the hotel right now. I got a ton of rewards points, <laughs> a ton of rewards points, right? Last time I checked, I had over, you know, 300,000 points. So, you know, I don't, I don't pay for hotels out of pocket whenever I travel whenever I'm on vacation or I just want to, you know, take a trip for the weekend or what have you. Sometimes my daughter may need, um, maybe going out of town with friends and things of that nature. Um, or my brother, you know, he may be coming in town or whatever the case may be. Or he may be going on another trip somewhere else. Usually when he come in town, he'll either get a hotel room or he'll come stay with me because, you know, I got we got extra room at the crib but yeah man it's nice to have those points and not have to come out of pocket um you know you can't beat it man so i love that as well and i love my hours i work about 40 to 43 hours a week that's what i work i don't know what other guys work but that's what i work and um paid every week can't beat it man you guys can go if you're interested in going food service you can go to gfs.com forward slash careers i believe and you know you can look and see what's available in your area um you can also go to that site and talk to a recruiter and ask any questions that you may have there are some things that i can't necessarily talk about um you know you have to talk to a recruiter or something like that um what else Oh, I will say this too, full transparency. This job is not all roses. You run into issues doing food service, just like any other job, right? Um, the trailers aren't loaded to perfection. You know, you're gonna have some, some times where you may have some stuff buried. You may have some cases that you have to dig for. Um, luckily for me, it doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, you know, it is, you know, a little frustrating. Um, sometimes the pallets may be loaded, um, out of order or not in sequence that has happened before. And, you know, it's not necessarily the warehouse's fault when that happens. Sometimes it's just... The, you know the proper thing wasn't communicated to the warehouse so they were just going off something else so you know um i don't want to point the finger at the warehouse for every single thing because that's that's really not the case 
But um, yeah, man, every day isn't perfect. You just gotta work through it, man. And um, control the controllables. That's what I worry about. The things that are out of my control, you know, I really can't. Um, I really can't worry about that. I just pretty much got to get through it. And that's what it is. So I try not to let this job stress me out, man. I try not to let too many things at all stress me out. Uh, you know, I got a pretty good attitude. And um, that's kind of how I try to approach life in general, man. You know what I mean? Things happen at the end of the day. But, you know, if it's not anything that's, you know, causing me harm or um, affecting me physically or anything like that, I, I try not to let stuff stress me out, man. Life too short. And um, just to have a job, to be able to provide for my family, to have money in the bank, uh, to have transportation, to have, you know, a roof over my head, clothes on my back, you know, to be healthy, all of that stuff, man, you know, that's what's really important, you know what I mean? And um, when you kind of put things into perspective and you think about what's important and what's not so important, that's kind of how I look at it. So yeah, no job out there is perfect, man. Everybody has something about their job that they feel like could be better. That's anywhere you go. So it is what it is, man. But look, food service, Gordon Food Service, uh, Cisco US Food, Cheney Brothers, PFG, all these different companies man they're very similar you know what i mean um in terms of the work it's, it's pretty much the same thing uh, i don't think every company is created equal and i've said that time and time again i do think there are some you know companies that are better than others in the food service space but um and gore food service being at the top of that list and i'm not just saying that because i work for them that's, I mean, that's just what it is. But, um, yeah, man. Food service. You definitely can make some good money in food service. You know, here at GFS, like many other companies out there, we got drivers making 70, 80, 90, all the way up to six figures plus doing this type of work. That's what it is, man. If you're a new CDL driver uh, and you're thinking about coming to food service, just do your research, do your due diligence. There's some good food service companies out there. Um, talk to people, talk to drivers that's working for companies that you are considering, and then go from there. Some companies do require you to have um, experience. GFS has hired drivers with zero experience. So, you know, it could be an option for you. But GFS isn't the only food service company that will hire you with zero experience. I think Sigma does as well. Um, I think Cisco does, depending on where you live. Somebody with Cisco told me that they require experience in some locations, so you just gotta, you know, check on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and check into this hotel, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next video, I see y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace. Thank you.